Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Genesis Graviton settings submenu, specifically the set dive submenu. So to get to that submenu, we're going to use the center button here on the right, which is our select button. And we're going to jump to the first menu. We're going to use our up and down arrows to travel to the settings option where we will select that. And then we will select the set dive option. Within this submenu, we have a few different options that we can set. We'll start here with the scuba. The first option within the scuba settings is to set the gas. Here we can set the percentage of gas that we would like via percentages, as well as we can change the powerful pressures and in turn changing the MOD as well. At any point, if you want to go back to the previous menu, we'll use the lower left button on the left, press that and that will return us to the previous menu. The next option here is our conservative factor. We have three conservative factors here on the Genesis Graviton, one, two, and three. One being the most conservative, two being a balanced conservative, and three being the least conservative. Go back. We have the option here of setting a max depth alarm. You can turn that on or off by toggling up or down, or we can select and change the depth that we would like that to be at. Go back and back. We also have the option of setting a max time alarm, which we can turn on and off as well, or we can select and change the max time in minutes that we would like it to be. Go back and back. The next option here is sampling. And sampling is going to perform data sampling every 10, 20, 30 or 60 seconds for the profile graph. So go back. The log stop option here is going to allow you to set it to one, two, five, or 10 minutes before it stops the log dive after resurfacing. Go back. Now we'll check out the free dive settings. We have the option here to set a depth alarm. Again, we can turn these on or off, and we can change the depth that we would like them to be at. We also have the option of setting a second alarm, and even a third alarm. Next, within the free dive settings, we can set a free dive time alarm, a max time. We can turn that on and off, as well as selecting and changing the amount of time. We also have the option of setting a surface interval alarm that we can turn on and off and select the amount of time and minutes that we would like that to be. Next, we have auto mode. Auto mode is going to select the different modes that the watch will go into automatically based on that depth. So in this case, scuba will activate at six and a half feet. Below that, we have the option of changing the salinity to salt and fresh. And we have the option, finally, to turn twist to next on or off. Twist to next is going to allow you, by quickly twisting the wrist in scuba mode, the bottom of the section of the screen will change to a couple different options to give you more data as you're diving along. Go back, back, and back. And there you have it. Those are the set dive options on the Genesis Graviton computer. Be sure to check out all of our other videos on the Genesis Graviton so you further understand your computer better. Thank you for watching and happy diving.